How to be a millionaire. Nuke Bizzle did it. He became a millionaire. He got $1.2 million from creating fraudulent claims with the unemployment department in the state of California. Now, this is very illegal. He took money from people who needed it, and then he made a music video about it explaining the process, and he was arrested 11 days later. Nuke Bizzle's video premiered September 12, 2020. 11 days later, he was arrested. I am very jealous of not Nuke Bizzle, but the person who reported them. If the person who reported Nuke Bizzle did it correctly through the whistleblower system, they could have made up to 15 to 30% of the money that they got back. Now, I don't think they got the full $1.2 million. He was clearly spending a lot of that money in cash on the, in videos, and he was in Vegas, he was living large. So I don't think they got that much back, or if they got even close to it, that person who was the whistleblower would have been eligible for up to 30% of that money. 30% of $1.2 million is $360,000. That's a lot of money. And Nuke Bizzle, he just wrapped it up all for you. He's, he's like, all right, he did the crime. He explained how he did it. And then he, <laughs> you just had to be the first one to report him which is why I'm going to show you how to be a millionaire by becoming a snitch, a whistleblower, or just a person reporting crimes. You are the phone crime Batman. All you have to do is report the crime. They do the time. You make some money. So if you haven't uh, been to this channel before, my name is Dan, the channel Full Value Dan, and I just explain different ways of making money and getting full value from regular things you could do in life. I mostly focus on credit cards and bank bonuses, building your credit. I love that type of stuff. And when I found out about whistleblowing, wow, you could, you could really become a millionaire in less than a year by just reporting crimes. If someone isn't uh, paying their full share of taxes, they're, let's say, a billionaire, and you find out how they're doing it, you report them as a whistleblower, and you can get a cut of that money that they recover. So I would love to work for a billionaire and work with their finances because you could uh, find out how much they're uh, really cheating the system. And if you could help me out and beat the YouTube algorithm, I would appreciate it if you like this video and to, if you stay till the end because there's a lot of information here. Some of these whistleblower awards that have been awarded have been in many, many millions of dollars and we're gonna get to that later. So like, subscribe if you're interested in making these money tactics and let's get started. Snitching on criminals. Typically, the reward is between $10,000 to $25,000 if you can provide information leading up to the arrest of a criminal. This is a little different from the whistleblower rewards because this deals directly with police departments. So there was a shooting of the sheriff deputies. Their reward was $100,000 if you could provide information leading up to a crime. Now, if you are the whistleblower or informant, you have to notify the police before an arrest or conviction is made. So there is a short window, like pretty much uh, don't wait for that reward. Well, I guess you could try to wait for that reward to go up. It's kind of uh, a long shot because there's other people that might have that information or they might get caught like Nuke Bizzle, he got caught in just 11 days after telling everyone how he committed a crime. So don't wait. And yeah, you get anywhere between $10,000 to $25,000 with the bounty program or rewards program for providing police with information towards the arrest of a crime. Now, it's better than being Batman. You're just like information Batman where you don't have to really risk anything. You just provide information and all the whistleblower or reporting information is confidential. 
Now there's other crimes that you can also report with justice.gov. They'll lead you in the right direction if there's any type of price gouging or hoarding or pandemic related crimes. Like if someone is doing something shady, you can report them. There has been a lot of harassment and incentives for some tenants and landlords where the landlords propose favors. I'm trying to not say anything uh, illicit. I'm trying not to say certain words because I am trying to stay monetized. This is how I make my money and this is Full Value Dan where you get the G-rated everything for advertisers to advertise on this video so I myself get full value and if you watch these ads you are helping me out. Thank you. So the first place you could start is going to justice.gov and I'm going to provide some other links in a blog post below in the description that'll tell you everything you need to know about being a whistleblower. With all these types of whistleblower rewards, you could literally become a millionaire if you have the right information. Now, there has been a lot of scandals in the past year, all government related, and if you happen to file a whistleblower complaint blowing open the whole uh, situation, you could make millions of dollars. So rather than working hard, just be a snitch. Yeah, it's cool. Snitches get riches. Snitches do not get stitches. That is what they want you to think. Snitches can get a 30% cut of whatever the rich person has been taking. And that is completely legal. So. With that, let's continue to me making a video about the other information that I already recorded and I'm not gonna re-record. Here we go. So you've probably seen where when people give financial advice, they say they are not a financial advisor and not to like take their advice very seriously. That's because it's a crime to do that and you could probably make some money reporting them and you could, you know, snitch on them. Uh, that is a thing people do and that's why you have to warn someone if you're a financial advisor or not because that person's money is on the line. A lot of people will throw money at something without doing the research so they really depend on financial advisors to give them that advice and you have to become a certified financial advisor, at least in the United States, to legally give financial advice. Now, a lot of people, I guess, give financial suggestions, so does, the cha so does this channel. I'm not a financial analyst or advisor, uh, so I just like getting good deals, and you can follow and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in getting the best deals, or at least how to make money from nothing. So I came up on this site, Zuckerman Law, and they had the top awards that whistleblowers have made depending on which government program. The SEC awarded the largest reward to a whistleblower of $50 million. $50 million. So a lot of people know Amazon isn't uh, paying taxes. I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't exactly know how they get away with that, but if you can figure out the loopholes, uh, what they're doing, and you can report that to the IRS, you will get a cut. Speaking of which, the biggest whistleblower reward to someone who's reported something to the IRS has been $104 million. I've never wanted to work for a big company more after finding out how much you can make being a whistleblower. Like I wanna, I, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna be the janitor or an assistant to someone on the top level just so I can find out that insider information if they're doing things on the up and up. So with the IRS, you can report things like someone not paying their taxes or someone severely underpaying their taxes. Let's say, I don't know, the 45th president of the United States paying $750 in taxes while everyone else is paying like a third of their income to taxes. But that's because it builds roads, it pays for government services, it pays for schools, it does a lot of things. It pays for the defense of the country where all the money or a majority of uh, taxpayer money goes. So you should know that 
that's not okay. The largest whistleblower reward by the CFTC, the Commodity Federal Trading Commission, has been $45 million. And that's not as high as the first two I just mentioned, but I'd even take $1 million. I'm okay, I'm not a greedy person. $1 million is okay with me to tell on my boss, my boss's boss, my uh, CEO, whatever. That is a, <laughs> yeah. I, I will rat on you for a million dollars if you did something wrong. Yeah, family or my wife, kids, I will rat on them for a million dollars. Like, they, they did something wrong. They have to pay the price and I get a commission. So that's what it is. Uh, yeah, come on, that, that's a lot of money. Now this is the largest reward. The False Claims Act, which is a program where you report fraud against the government, the largest whistleblower reward they have awarded to someone is $250 million. So I have not heard about this until recently when I just kind of <laughs> dig around the internet for deals and stuff, and I found out you can make so much money being a whistleblower. Now depending on your situation or what kind of thing you're reporting, there are different government entities which would qualify for your whistleblower reward. The reporting process is pretty easy. It takes less than 10 minutes of filling out some paperwork. I actually looked into this with the SEC, but I didn't, I didn't look into all the programs, so you're gonna have to look at that yourself if you find some wrongdoing and you wanna be a millionaire. Share this video with your friends and family and let them know you'll be snitching on them very soon. Or, you know, just whatever, just help them out if they happen to know something unjust that is happening and they want to bring justice to this world. I've been Full Value Dan, thanks for watching and until next time.